Hey fellow Star Trek fans. Um, so in anticipation of the 1350 scale USS Enterprise refit from Polar Lights, um, I'm going to be showing you the goodies that I got along the way in order to enhance the model. Um, what I present to you today is from Tenna Controls and this exactly is going to be the landing, bi the landing bay lights. Let me show you the if you can see the back of the box, <clears throat> you can see the, um, the running lights are going to be guiding the shuttle into the landing bay. This is going to be the refit, not the A. Um, I got it a little, a little while ago, <clears throat> but what I was thinking was, you know, I wanted to get a lot of, well, as many things to enhance this kit as I can. I want it to be just like it uh, was used um, on screen. Anyway, without further ado, let's show you what you get. This is Tenet Controls from Tenet Controls. It's the circuit board that's going to be running the lighting in the landing bay. And they're located in Milford, Mass. And the first thing I got in the package was a thank you, a little thank you note from Ralph. And what I had paid for it. Um, I paid $40.37 for this. And the tenant controls the address, Milford, Mass. <clears throat> Put that aside. And some bubble wrap in a package. So let's go ahead and we're going to open that up scissors here to open it up. This is Tenna Controls model LNDBAY-B. Star Trek Enterprise Landing Bay Sequential, sequential Runway Landing Lights. And this is the package that you will get. So let me go ahead. I'm going to open it up for you. Really excited to be finally starting this model kit. Um, I've been prepping for it for a while. I got a bunch of little goodies to show you until I do the unboxing and start the model. But this is, let's see, you got a battery powered power supply, 9 volt battery. You can see the lights that are inside that. Let me give you a better better look. Again, of everything that I get, I'm going to put pictures up on the screen and you can pause and check it out. And here's the, the board itself. I'm going to take it out of the bubble wrap to show you. <clears throat> I got my scissors. This is going to be really, really cool. It's not very big. It's nice and small as you would want, um, so it can fit in the shuttle bay because there's not a lot of room in there. I mean, it's a big model kit, but you don't have a ton of room. Let me show you the pre-made circuit board that you get. Let me show you the back. Very exciting to uh, to get this. So you get the circuit board, you get the power supply. Uh, mine's going to be. I'm going to plug mine in. Um, all of it's going to be running through the plug through the base. So I'm going to use the power supply for the rest of the ship to power this. But you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're supposed to get eight lights with the kit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Let's see what the instructions say. <clears throat> Tenna controls. Brings models to life. It sure does. I'm looking forward to this. It shows you the website, tenacontrols.com on top. This is the warranty. The wiring diagram is on the back. It shows you 
gives you the cathodes and the anodes. Again, I'm going to put photos of the um, instructions for you, just so you know what to, uh, what to expect. And here's what we've been waiting for. I will show you guys the wiring diagram. I mean, it doesn't really make much sense for you to order this kit if you can't read schematics, along with um, the lighting kits. You know, all of them really come with schematics. Matter of fact, um, I've got the tenor control circuit board for the lights that I'll be showing you soon. And if you can't read schematics, you do yourself a favor and just don't um, don't start doing this project yet. You really should educate yourself. <clears throat> anyway, that being said, is the back. You can see the shuttle bay and where the layout's going to be, the piece of plastic that's going to be coming and um, the floor of, well, forming the floor of the shuttle. Looking very much forward to that. This is going to be so exciting. And it brings us to the back, which was the warranty. So, that being said, again, I paid it was a total of $40.37 for the Star Trek Enterprise Landing Bay Landing Lights Control Board. And this is what's going to give the little sequence of lights that guides the shuttlecraft into the landing bay. Um, I'm going to look for a video to try to, to show you what it looks like. I'll put up pictures and still shots of everything and what it's supposed to look like and what it's going to potentially look like. Um, that being said, let me see if I can put this on for you. Let me just get that out of the way. And again, it comes with a power supply. And these are the lights that go in. And it's supposed to come with eight lights. So we see this. This is for the 9 volt battery, but again, I'm going to power it through the rest of the ship. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They give ten lights. Um, I read in the description on eBay that it comes with eight lights. I'm not sure if this is because they give extra or if because they you can add the addition of two extra lights on the runway. But there's lights, there's a power supply, and there is most importantly of all the circuit board. Again, one more time, I'll show you the circuit board. And again, I'll put pictures up, so it'll be easier for you to look at. If you want to pause the video, you can uh, check it out. Um, I'm looking very much forward to seeing this in action. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a little taste. This is the tenor controls, the, um, the runway lighting that's going to go in the landing bay, the uh, circuit board. So until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.